let's take a look at what was going on in the wrestling world around the time. There wasn't actually, I couldn't find any observers from this time, but there was figure four weeklies of Rose oh, oh, with Mr. That. Brian Alvarez. Oh, TNA aired it. this week too. Yeah, TNA <laughs> sucks so bad, right? I'm sure. Of course it does. From the July 10th, 2006 figure four weekly, the entire WWE got flipped upside down following the arrest of RVD. And Terry Bronk. Not Sunday Terry night. Bronk, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Rob Sitkowski. I don't know how to yeah, say RV's right, shoot name. Right. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, right. And Terry Bronk. Not Terry Funk. Terry Bronk. No. The two were driving back from a show at the Big Sandy Superstore Arena in Huntington, uh, West Virginia, when they were pulled over for speeding in what was actually a pretty well-known speed trap. Officers smelled marijuana and searched the car. They found Van Damon to be in possession of 18 grams of marijuana and five Vicodin. Terry Brunk was found with drug paraphernalia and nine pills that were not immediately identifiable, but were known to be controlled substances. It could be anything. <laughs> they were cited and posted bond at the scene. Word broke the next morning in the local area paper, which made a huge deal of the story, including plastering a gigantic color photo of both of them on the front page. Terry Brunk? Fuck, of Terry Brunk and Rob Skoskowski. <laughs> that afternoon, Van Dam and Sabu had a meeting with John Laurinaitis to discuss the situation. You're fucked, boys. <laughs> You're really fucked up. Uh, <laughs> it is believed that RVD claimed he had a prescription for the Vicodin, and Sabu claimed he had a prescription for all his pills, and that the pipe that was found was brand new and unused. <laughs> but uh, So I guess possession of a pipe is not illegal, it says here. Uh, Sabu says it Could was be a tobacco pipe. Could have been, man, right, of course. Yes. Terry Bronk. Could have been for crack. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> figure well, it out. <laughs> I smoked well. tobacco out of my crack pipe. <laughs> Let me get half. <laughs> if you're going to share, then you're fine. <laughs> Based upon the statements given based, given to management by Van Dam and Sabu, the decision was made to suspend Van Dam for 30 days without pay uh, and fine Sabu $1,000. But yeah, so Sabu only pay, had to pay a thousand bucks. Is it because his pills were all cool? He wasn't driving, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, really it was he was speeding. The drive. <laughs> 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 give me it's some pills. Five, yeah. <laughs> give, me the, I'm gonna, give me a pill now. <laughs> I'm going to check them out and let you know <laughs> what give they me are. Three pills. <laughs> I'll open my legs. <laughs> <laughs> give me four pills. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you some head. <laughs> give me five. I some pin. Both your asses. <laughs> Damn it! That was the exact amount that they gave him. Yeah, well, dude, this that's is sad. Well, many wrestlers assume both guys will be fired immediately, and were surprised with WWE's handling of the situation. Alvarez writes, obviously, if Danny Doring and Roadkill had been arrested, all they'd right, likely have right, been right. fired immediately. <laughs> 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 Maybe Danny that, Doring, but Roadkill, he's sticking around. They yeah. wanted to stand up for Doring and Roadkill if they showed up with pipe pills and marijuana? Yeah, that's crazy. No, no. They would have, he said, uh, John Lord would have kicked him out the office. <laughs> Who and, are you? And, <laughs> leave on that on the table. <laughs> they would have stripped him to the ECW tag team titles. You would never make it in a champion carnival. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Baba does not know your name. She would kill you, I swear. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> right here. Danny Doring. <laughs> they hate your guts. <laughs> Why does he hate them so much? I don't know, man. They're a fucked up guy. Shame, yeah, no, I was gonna say, shame. Danny Doring and Roku are perfect opener at guys. Like, I can't even believe they were on this episode with the amount of shitty ass wrestlers they had on this shit. So, well, because like, I had them arrested. <laughs> <laughs> I sent them to all Japan and they got killed. <laughs> I sent them to <laughs> they got killed. I sent them to OVW to make sure to ruin their careers. Oh, no. Much like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good pipeline. <laughs> Pipe me when I'm lying. <laughs> uh, Randy Orton versus Hulk Hogan built around a storyline involving Orton having the hots for young Brooke Hogan. I don't know why, but young in your specific. Hulk Hogan had the hots for young Brooke Hogan? No, Orton did. Well, Randy Orton? <laughs> yes. Oh, right, okay. Correct. In OVW? Not, but, uh, no, this is. Oh, Six, so he was regular Randy Orton here, oh, okay. shitting in bags. Oh yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, regular speeding and with pills and marijuana in his car. For Randy sure. Orton should have been with Danny Dorian and Roadkill. <laughs> now, like, if you really want to talk about something that would have popped off, don't fucking say that I'm shit. Saying it, 
And I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Randy Orton. <laughs> Shut up, Ben. We're Roadkill. He's from OVW. No, Roadkill and Danny Dory and Randy Orton would have been. Mark Gendry. That's evolution. Dude, you are a sick son of a bitch. That, that's, you know that? that, that's an evolution. You are a sick that's, son of a bitch. That's an evolution of man. You know, Dude, that's like, a de-evolution. No, that, that is Roadkill, road kill, Danny Doring, at the time Randy Orton, and then Mark Jindrak. You know what I mean? Regression, yeah. That's no, fucking... that's, that's the evolution. Right? Yeah, go ahead. And what, they would have been the ECW group? Or yeah, they would have been on it, Raw? Well, <laughs> evolution. Like, well, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, who, who, who's competing with them? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where you put them. Dude, Dude, they don't watch it regardless. Danny Dorgan and Roka are not even sniffing Jim Ross's announcer right, chair well, seat on Raw, on the first, well, <laughs> on the first ECW. Let's make sure we get that right. <laughs> Sorry. That was a hot rating yeah. for that one. I'm sure. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. <laughs> no. <laughs> Fuck you. Well, that is likely going to be the main event of SummerSlam. Nothing to do with Doring and Roadkill. I'm sorry. Mm. It's Orton versus Hogan. Uh, Hogan and McMahon met a few weeks ago to discuss the storyline. Orton was originally under the impression it would take place at Mania, but apparently Brooke Hogan's CD is coming out in September, and Hulk These Hogan decided to... These boots are made for <laughs> walking. <laughs> That's just what they'll do. Please tell me she does sing that song. Well, Hulk Hogan decided to rush the whole gimmick uh, to get her as much exposure as possible, leading to the release of her CD. He's a great guy. What a fantastic <laughs> father. <laughs> Always has been a historically good guy, Hulk Hogan. Dude, he just got married again, dude. Oh, yeah, to his daughter. <laughs> again? <laughs> they got remarried. They just renewed well, their vows. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Yo, did he just marry his daughter? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> John Laurinaitis is talking to himself. It's like a angel devil. No, he's, ta John. he's talking to Danny Dory and Roku. No, dude, he just he married his daughter. Who the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I, I told you guys. <laughs> Go to jail. Get out of my office. Kane is very upset. <laughs> oh, okay. Kane's very upset about how the whole fake Kane angle played out. Well, they promised Kane he'd be in a, a major heel by the time the movie came out. See No Evil, of course, which oh, we've okay. watched on our Patreon, by the way. We have. Both of them. <laughs> a lot of oh, Kane shit, penis yeah. and nose. <laughs> a lot of it. A lot of Kane penis. Uh, and that, uh, this deal with the new Kane would be a career-defining angle for him. Many Kane penis. <laughs> <laughs> for you, Dory. <laughs> Look at you with the glasses. <laughs> you keep doing that, Todd, I'll kill you. What's wrong with you? <laughs> So here they, they told Kane that this fake Kane angle would be a career-defining angle for him. Originally, the idea was to try to hold it off until Mania. Instead, WWE rushed the match into vengeance. Kane did the job clean. The folks didn't give it a rat's ass. And Vince did one of his freakouts and canceled the whole angle. <laughs> yeah, I think Inoki did that, too. Uh, <laughs> to with <look> fake Kane. <laughs> <laughs> him and fucking Sylvester Trakai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're both oh, going to hell. <laughs> We gotta watch that match, because uh, I've only seen the end of it. Yeah, I guess we do have to watch the match. Yeah, like, is it, like, super fucking long and bad No, I, I, I think it only went nine or something. It's just boring. Suck. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Noki said, fuck you, yeah, man. Yeah, they are probably softball each other WWE style. He said, no, 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 no. Get no. the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, he you said, know, go so ECW, both of you. No softball over there. <laughs> No way. Remember that, boys. Uh, Trini had <laughs> I like the idea that uh now I like He's the idea everyone to go to all Japan. Uh, yeah, I like the idea that Johnny Ace, Danny Dorian Roadkill are now like what like Mystery Science Theater three thousand deadlock. Like they're just watching it. In my mind, the, Lauren Itis is behind his desk and Danny Dorian Roadkill are just too afraid to leave the other side of the desk. They have just sit there and listen to the yeah. <laughs> You hear about fake game? Yeah. 